All right, number 14 says, assume that z-scores are normally distributed with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one, which we know, so we're, we're on the standard normal curve, but whenever you're dealing with z-scores, the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one. That's the big property coming out of them. All right, and it wants us to find this a value. So if we're between zero and a, it looks like we're shading about 46% of the area under that curve. So let's go find this. And then we'll calculate this answer. So this is Z. And if I go from zero and it looks like to A, right? And actually, let me go ahead and color code this. So if I go from zero to A and I shade this in, they're telling us that this is about 46% of the area under that curve. If I want to be real specific, it's 0.4608. All right, and they're asking, what is that A value? Well, just looking at zero to A, these aren't gonna be negative. So I have to decide, was this one point, oh gosh, sorry. Is this 1.76 or 1.82? So, so let's figure that out. Now keep in mind, we know this is 50%, right? Because this is always the 50th percentile, the mean is. And so when I add that area, this is going to then be the 96.08th percentile and we just want to figure out what that number is. So let me change colors here. So my Z would be inverse norm. And the percentile I'm dealing with, because that's how my calculator is built, is 0 0.9608. And then 0, 1 for that mean and standard deviation, respectively. And let's see what we get here. So I'm going to do inverse norm, uh, 0 0.9608, 0 to 1. And we get 1.76. All right, so we would put here 1.76. And that would be my answer. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.